Isn't it time for final orders? Apparently not. In fact, most German pubs don't have official closing times and therefore often stay open all night. What else do you need to know when venturing out on a night in a German pub? Bottoms up, let's find out. What I call a pub, the Germans call a Kneipe. There's a bit of debate between what makes a pub a pub and a bar a bar, but a Kneipe is generally more traditional. Bars can be a bit fancier. There are also plenty of specialised bars, especially here in Berlin. The selection varies according to taste and the crowd it attracts. There are lots of cocktail bars, student pubs, sports bars, gay bars, mostly just hangout places for people to talk and drink. But what's the most popular drink of choice here in Germany? I'll give you one guess. And if you didn't guess beer, I'm disappointed. Depending on where you are in Germany, the kind of beer you drink and what glass it comes in also varies. The legal age for drinking beer and wine and sparkling wine or champagne is 16. For stronger spirits, it's 18. So you only have to be 16 to get into a Kneipe. But you should eat beforehand, since the only food many pubs serve is a few snacks. And don't forget to tip. 5 to 10% is pub standard. Important info if you smoke. In Germany, there's a strict ban on smoking in bars and pubs. But nevertheless, there are exceptions, especially in Berlin. It's vocab time. Here are the German phrases you need to know when you're going out out in Germany. Stammkneipe. This is your local pub. Anschreiben. To take something on credit, like an IOU, but this is only possible in your Stammkneipe when they can trust that you'll pay it back. Vom Fass. From the barrel. This is beer on tap. German pop culture may have changed, but distiller here has remained the same for almost 150 years. Let's ask the owner what makes a Kneipe a Kneipe. This is Uwe Drees, barkeeper and owner of Distiller Berlin. Kneipe means it's simple. You don't have to dress properly. You can come straight from work, so you don't have to change. Even when your clothes are dirty, you're welcome, it's okay. <laughs> Everybody is welcome. It doesn't matter what kind of, of uh, color their skin is, what kind of religion they have, where they come from. A good jump pub should feel like home. This is very important for them to meet people. They come here to talk. We do entertain our, our regulars, our, our customers. We have a lot of fun here. Do you have any stories? I'm sure people tell you a lot of their secrets. We used to have a couple when they met here. And, uh, and at the end, they, they had their wedding here. Wow, that's yes, so that, nice. That was nice. That was really nice. We still have contact to them. I know a lot of private stories for most of our customers, but a good barman knows everything, don't tell anything. Like a therapist. Yeah. But not as, not as paid as a therapist. <laughs> Inns have been around for many centuries, but Kneipen or pubs started playing a major role in Germany in the context of industrialization in the 19th century. As a social space to escape from the daily grind, as well as a place to get together with friends. While they used to be a place for men to discuss jobs and politics, German pubs also developed in the 20th century as a gathering place for students, artists, queer people, and so on. The great variety of pubs keeps evolving, including typical pub drags, such as Dusseldorf's longest bar in the world, a street with the most bars in a row. Pubs are an integral part of society here, partly because they are the perfect location for the Feierabendbier, aka the let's celebrate the end of the working day beer. Germans are all about the work hard, play hard ethic. Pub culture is very important to Germany because alcohol is very important uh, to Germany. This is historian Dr. Hanno Hochmut. And they do not only drink privately at home, but also publicly at public spaces. And the pub, it actually is the name, is the public place to drink. Fun fact, since alcohol is so cheap in Germany, there's a law nicknamed the apple juice paragraph. It states that there must be at least one non-alcoholic drink that is no more expensive than the cheapest alcoholic drink. Pub culture in Germany has changed in recent decades. The term Kneipensterben, pub death, has come up. What's that about? 
In the early times of the 20th century, the traditional German Kneipe pub was predominant, whereas today it diversified a lot. Other new pubs, other new bars pop up, so there's no Kneipensterben, but rather a change of style. Kneipen culture is honestly one of my favorite things about Germany, especially here in Berlin, whether I am hanging out at my Stammkneipe or enjoying a really nice cocktail, it's just good vibes all round. What's it like in your country? Let us know in the comments.